Hey everyone, this week we're taking a look at ideas on how to make your space more unique to you. We want to remind you that you can do whatever you like when you're building out your van. You don't have to stick to cookie cutter concepts and we know that's what people think sometimes. Also, make sure to subscribe for the best van life tours and build ideas. Okay, let's take a look at number one. So my, I got a Todd that I'm gonna get a box truck and then I was looking for a year, a box truck in a Facebook marketplace in PGG. I saw this one for $6,000 mm -hmm. Canadian and I'm like, I need to take it. And then I called Ashley and I said, Ashley, I'm gonna buy this truck. And I actually said, uh, you sure? You don't need it, what are you gonna do with it? And I said, I don't care, I'm buying it. I'm, and she's like, but you're gonna be all, all the time working in Quebec, you will not even have a place where to build it out or whatever. And I said, I don't care, I'm gonna buy it. So. I got it in one week and brought it back to Ontario and the pandemic started and it was the right moment to start the build. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Ash. My name is Robert. <laughs> and this is Betty White. <laughs> and this is little Yuki. And then uh, we're going farther and this is the kitchen area. Uh, the countertop I did myself too. It's uh, made from two by two leftovers and uh, it makes a nice beautiful countertop. Works pretty good. So moving farther from the couch, it's uh, another countertop, another kitchen area. Uh, so so this is all custom build countertop. Uh, I build it as a mountain tops. So little tree areas and then snowy, snowy area goes to the mountain and with a beautiful sunset, rainbowy sunset feeling. So. That's kind of that. Jamie and Lisa had a great idea on how to access their garage space easier, but also add a little beer fridge. Hi there, my name is Lisa. Okay, so and we're I'm gonna Jamie. take a look at underneath the bed now, which we like to call the garage. And then we have our pull-out slide for storage. We have lots of on-top storage and additional storage underneath. And the best part of this is the beer fridge. Alex and Frankie found a way to hide components that they didn't want to see with some creative work. Hey guys, I'm Frankie. And I'm Alex. This is our puppy Paco. And our van Olive. And all together, we are FNA Van Life. Our wall over here, all of our art is by friends and family. This is from the Pine Bones, Frank's aunt. I made that little one, a friend of ours. Uh, painted Paco's little silhouette here, which is really beautiful. And then another friend painted this painting, which is actually a secret storage spot for our cell phone booster. <clears throat> so we just have this velcroed up on the wall and then built back into it is our cell phone booster. There's one component in the front, this component here, and then the antenna up on the roof. Let us know how you made your space unique to you. Make sure to comment below. Also, who's to say that you can't bring your favorite dresser into your van build? Let's take a look at Michaela and Alex's van. Hi there, I'm Kay. And I'm Alex. We live in Tree. The Treehouse Bus. Um, this is our fun little dresser as well. This one's all hand carved and whatnot from India. Uh, we keep all of our clothes in here. This is Alex's drawer. It's really, really full at the moment, but usually it is, so we don't really have to have latches because it won't slide up if it's full. 
Um, and then I keep mine here and down here I have all of my stuff for my business. Um, I create little mushroom earrings and whatnot and different fun various jewelry items and strange little heavy things. So it's kind of a fun little gig to have with me to bring my artwork wherever I go. This next idea is if you want a dedicated space for your hammock and a great view. Hey everyone, this week we're taking a look at a really amazing build by Outside Van. There are two custom ladders that lead to what they call a scouting platform. And there you can put up a custom hammock and bars to kind of hang out. Outside Van really wanted this to be capable of long-term off-grid living and didn't want this thing to really ever see a plug-in campground. And that really shows. And get this, there is a roof-mounted floodlight on this van. Look at this thing. If you're building on a budget, Beth and Jake's water tap idea is one to consider. I live full time in the van that I converted with my boyfriend Jake. Our van is a Voxo Movano medium wheelbase. We are from the UK and we currently are exploring Europe. And over on this side we have the standalone unit which houses our sink and underneath just the things for the sink like the water containers. So basically we just made the countertop with a cutout so that we could remove it when we wanted to access the sink and put it in when we wanted more counter space. And for our tap, we just went cheap and cheerful, nice and minimal, made it out of some copper pipes. It's only a single temperature, but that's all right for us. We don't need hot water. If we do need hot water, we can just boil it in the kettle and add it to the bowl or wherever we want to use it. But it was really fun to make. And we also kept it so that it was separated here so that we could still remove, uh, still move it around. So, you know, get that all important counter space. Take a look at this slide out rear table from Sunny and Luna. Hey, we're Sunny and Luna and we live on the road. We live in our custom Ram ProMaster 2500 that we converted ourselves. So out here is one of the coolest features and it is our slide out table. We love this thing. We actually use it all the time. It's so nice to be able to hang out out here or if we don't want to break down our bed into table mode and want to have a nice big dinner. We just love sitting out here relaxing and enjoying dinner and stuff. That's it for this week. But before you go, make sure you subscribe for the best van life content. Also, if you haven't seen this video on bed mold yet, make sure you check it out because it would not be fun to discover it. Until next time, safe travels.